slide this way, Sister Scoble. All right, buddy, I'm Johnny Scoble, Sister Scoble, and this is Chase the Heat. How are you? Good. We're really not related. No, we're not. I just, she was walking along the side street. I said, hey, you, pretty girl, come over here and do a video with me. It's my sister. I'm older. That's true. You can pay me later. Um, anyway, listen, thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate you hanging out with me. I've got some cool peppers today. Um, these are a dandy. They look like tulips. Mark Wilkerson's. Yeah, you know what? They're, they're interesting. He, guys, these are, are bubblegum peppers crossed with a BTR. Let me explain to you. BTR is a butch tea reaper. Uh, okay. What? Is that a sneeze? Ha! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I don't know what's funny. You, the dainty sneeze, or are you apologizing for? You drew attention to the sneeze that you didn't need to draw attention to. All right, Mark Wilkerson sent these to me. These, this is a bubblegum BTR. Now BTR is Butch Tea Scorpion Reaper, kind of a mixed thing, and then the bubblegum. You know why they call it bubblegum? Why? Because it tastes like bubblegum. Mm. You don't buy it. No. No, I, listen, she's right. I, I'm lying. I'm going to pull this off. Uh, let me show you the cool thing about a bubblegum pepper. There is a little, uh, uh, well, the stem's here, but there's a little cap right here. A little, uh, like, it's a little cap, kind of like you'd see on a, I don't know. Uh, there's probably a technical word for it. Do I know it? No. But anyhow, on a bubblegum pepper, you guys see the, right here, the, this is for the YouTube channel, right here, the, there's a little cap, like a, kind of like a collar around the stem. That's a good way to call it, a collar. A pepper collar. It's going to be called the pepper collar from now on. Uh, but anyhow, on a bubblegum, what happens is if it's a yellow bubblegum that bleeds yellow through the calyx, that's called a calyx, and the stem, uh, this is a red BTR bubblegum so that you can see that I have three of them and if you look at them you can see the color this is for the YouTube family you can see the color this is for Facebook uh, bleeding into the stem and all the calyx the calyxes are all red I didn't have like a spray paint like shh before the thing started anyway <coughs> this came to me from Mark Wilkerson so thank you Mark and thank you you gonna say something? You're just gonna sit I there. Do. Say so something. It looks like a tulip. Do you want to try some of this? No, I, I watch. I'm gonna watch. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm, do you know why this is? Do you guys? Do you see how wet that knife is? Yeah. You guys can't see that. I never can get the angle right. Ah, uh, there is some liquid. Do you guys see that? It's blood. It's not blood. That's pepper blood. Uh, but what that is is that's. Uh, oh, yikes. That's Folks, this is why I cut open peppers before I eat them. Do you guys see how black and, and kind of gnarly these seeds are? So what I'm going to do... See that bee, like, buzzing the tower? Yep. He's been doing that lately. I say that. I'm not even joking. I would not move if I were you. Well, last couple of videos I'm outside, they're buzzing the tower. I'm going to remove these because, ah, oh, I just stabbed myself in the finger. I really did. Watch, watch. watch. Look, there's going to be blood. Trust me, there'll be blood there. It went through there and stuck me right in the finger. All right, guys, give me just a second. I'm going to uh, remove some of these nasty black seeds. You want me to get mom to do it? No. Guys, the reason I cut the seed, I open pods up is for that very reason. First of all, the seeds don't create the heat. It's a misconception that a lot of folks have. There's no heat. Do you, you think that? No heat. The light just went out of my shoulder. It's on a timer, folks. Um, there is no heat in the seeds. The seeds essentially provide a bunch of bitterness. And baby plants. And baby plants. Where plants come from. Where did I stab myself? I just no, wanted... didn't. No, I did. I, I, I want to say it. They don't want to see you bleed. They want to see you peppers. I know, but I, I stuck myself. 
knife sharp. You smell that half, and I'll smell it. Don't careful with your finger. Touch the stem. Okay, now here's a good example of uh, non-Chilean with a Chilean. You know what I'm smelling? Let's see if we smell the same thing. Don't tell me first. I'm smelling a chininzi hot pepper flavor aroma. Let me move this I camera. I say that. I know, but you don't know what chininzi is. Chininzi is that super hot pepper. But I'm smelling fruitiness. Do you smell the fruitiness to that? I smell death. You guys, that's why it's really cool to have a non chiliad on the video with a chiliad because I smell fruitiness. I smell. See that? Why don't you eat it? This is not hot. It's so not. Why pick it out? Because it was black. Um, anyhow, um, you know, I say uh, like like a chiliad, non chiliad. I'm smelling a fruitiness, kind of an earthy aroma, almost a hint of citrus. Do you get that? Or not? No. You're just getting death. Is that what you said? Death or pain? <laughs> death. Death. All right, so I'm going to eat this right now. This is a from Mark Wilkerson. You, know, you love that beautiful red calyx, you guys? This is a bubblegum cross with a BTR. You don't know this. BTR is one of the hottest peppers on the planet, for real. So this is going to be pretty hot. Hopefully these others won't have black seeds. Why? I, Why? I'd like to eat the whole thing. You need the stem? I'm not going to eat this thing, no. Do you want me to? Because <laughs> no. I will if you want. No. I want you to tie it. Um, it's not like a cherry stem. It would be hard to do. Mm -hmm. That's like a, a... If you could do that, you need an award. I did the other day. I ate it. Yeah, we were together. That's right. All right. All right. Now, here's the cool thing. The reason I'm excited about this is I've never seen a BTR cross with a bubblegum. The flavor is, first of all, there's no bitterness. You don't know this. Um, when you get a super hot pepper, this is a super hot pepper. Not just a little hot. Not like like uh, jalapeno hot or habanero hot, but it's like really hot. Um, the The... You couple of the bubble gum with the B, the uh, re, the BTR, amazing heat. But the problem with some hot peppers like this is you'll get bitterness. You like bitter? Remember the bitter beer like face commercial? Yeah, and they're doing that again. Those sweet I, and sour beers, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm in the bitter. The bitter doesn't bother me that much. You know, what bothers me a lot. My sister probably doesn't watch a lot of these shows. I don't like floral. You know what that means? Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah, they have floors on the line. You guys are all watching. You guys have known. Uh, fl floral peppers have a... See, look at the red calyx. It's so cool how it bleeds into the so calyx. you remember what it was called. I did. Um, floral pods have a... Uh, and that's one of the common traits of a super... Look how wet that blade is. Yeah. Floral pods tend to have a... Uh, no black seeds. I can munch this one. Here we go, guys. Just dropped a singular seed on my laptop. I don't pull seeds because I don't grow. Some people send me exotic stuff that's first generation. It has, it's not going to be stabilized for a while. Seeds are a concern. I don't grow, right? Okay. So I eat them. But here is the second BTR cross with bubble gum. Oh, by the way, let me talk about that flame. The flame. <clears throat> you guys hear that? No weed blower. No uh, weed eater or leaf blower, lawnmower. Skill saw. Table saw. You think so? Mm -hmm. How about that? I'm saying skill saw, she's saying table. You really think it is? Mm -hmm. How do you know that? Because I thought I saw a table that stood up there. Well, then you maybe look like an idiot. Apparently, it's a table saw. This is the second. Oh, by the way, let's start with the heat. Um, you know what we're going to do? I think this should be fun. Why don't you eat that? As a teeny little guy's look, a teeny little speck. Look at that, our sister Scobles is like ready to reach out and grab it. 
Teal spec. Did you just drop it on the computer? Yeah, but there's no like bad fuzz there. It's a computer. We're good. I want you to eat that. Now, it's going to be like significantly hotter than most peppers you've ever eaten. Okay. Go ahead and give it a shot. Right. Stuff it in your mouth. Eat it. Now, do it. Say please. Please. You believe that? That's a skull right there. It's hot. No, okay. Is it a bummer? Yeah. Is it like, like, <laughs> on a scale from 1 to 10, what is it for you? Like, like, your eyes are watering. It's a 9.5. Already? Oh, that sucks. You know why? It's going to get hot. And this is awful because this is going to make it worse. You know what happens? With, yeah. You know what happens with water when you drink water with peppers? Mil anyway. Milk, yeah. <laughs> milk tends to help it with the dairy. Like, make it like you're going to help me like in the past. And but with water, help. what happens is with water, it spreads the capsaicin. Want to hear a funny story, you guys, real quick? I'm like, what are you, like 10? She's probably like 10 years old. I'm like 6 or so. We're on the front lawn. I got a 3 iron. Hold on a minute. A golf club. 3 iron. Oh, it's hot. How hot Super is it? fruity. 1 to 10. For me? Um... Three. Two or three. You're a liar. I'm not. Your eyes are watering. Mm -hmm. No. Tasty. It's not, there's no bitter. Do you have any bitter? Do you taste a little bit of bitterness? No, but it's hot. Well, yeah. So on the front lawn, I got a three arm. She's in my backswing. Is it You're my fault? To look. Is it is it my fault? So I take the club back, whack her in the face, strike the ball, get a good click on the ball. I felt good. I liked my drive. Here's the problem. Whacked her in the melon right here. Where was the cut? Right here. Three stitches. Three. I can't see it. So I hit her in the melon with my club in the backswing. Back to knocked her just flat out. So I, I go up to her, I drop the club. Bleeding everywhere. Head cut. You have a head cut, right? They bleed like you're a mom of five kids. Head cuts bleed. So she's bleeding everywhere. She's wearing a crimson mask. So I'm like, my dad is a monster. He's big and tall and big. And my, you know, I was horrified. So I, so what I did was, I, you know, what would the ordinary person do? He ran. I'm like, hey. I, I, I No, I, I didn't hurt. run. I, yes, I did. No. I said, Kurt, I'm hurt. And... Here's the deal. Here's the deal. I didn't run. If I had run, she wouldn't have gotten help. I held her down and I said, she's wanted help. I said, no. I was scared because I hurt her. He did. Uh, yeah. I said, please come with me. I did, eventually. They didn't find you. Here you go, guys. Look at that. You guys see what that is? That was the breath. Don't do it. Don't do another one. Yeah, I am. Oh, uh, well, we got some black seeds here. Okay, I just recovered. The flame um, the, on the first two peppers, I just stabbed myself again in the finger. Two times. Maybe there should be a, a seed remover. I am the seed remover. The poor birds. You know, I, I've heard, read that mammals don't like and aren't affected by capsaicin like we are. But I've seen videos of dogs eating. No, only mammals are. Whatever. I've seen a video of a dog that got a hold of some hot peppers and burned himself silly. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it, it, you know. Yeah. Did you hear about the, the knife jamming? She did it. Oh. Look, here's the second time I've stabbed myself in the same video. There's got to be blood. There's not. You want to try a little more? No, I'm really good. Where's your heat at now? Oh, it's down at like a one. I've recovered. Have you really? Yeah. See, that's a scoble. Yeah. A little more? No, I didn't. Just a hair? Oh, it cut off a tiny sliver for you. I got beer inside. Okay, well. No, that's not a little sliver. It's a little sliver. That's a little sliver I had last time. Cut that in half. Okay, I'll do that. I'm brave. Little scoble sister heat. Ready, go. Chew it up.
With a what? A burp. It's a pepper burp. It happens all the time. All right, so I've eaten three of those. Now, the beet jar really is a very, very hot pepper. That one didn't hurt. It didn't? Not at all? This is the second sliver that you opted not to eat. This will earn you credit with the Scoville family. How much? Eat this. Just like to tell me what to do. You guys want to eat that? Yours? Too late. I did it. All right. So, now chew it up, get it up. Scale of one to ten. Is it, does it have a, almost an unnatural heat, like bizarre heat? Yep. That one was hotter than the first bite. Why? Because there's more of it. And it adds on to each other. But let me let me tell you this. I find that flavor that has it, to me, it has a fruity flavor. There's a fruitiness quality, an earthiness, a fruitiness earthy. to that. Yep. But do you taste the fruitiness? I taste it earthy. Not getting the fruity, folks. There is a difference in a non chili and a chili. My tolerance is higher. I can pick up things in pods that a non chili may not pick up. So here's what we're going to do we're going to wrap this up now. You want that little piece right there? No. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a link in the description box below uh, for Mark. Uh, he's a great grower, man. He's grown. This was exciting for me because it's a new pepper. I haven't tried before. So listen, if you guys, uh, I don't know if he's got something to sell, but he's grown some fiercely hot peppers, go to the uh, description box, click the link, and you can get some. Uh, right? Over her face is the Chase Heat Floating Pepper. Click on that pepper, and when you do, you're part of this thing. Uh, if you don't want to miss any of these videos, you don't have to. Click the bell for notification, and we will let you know. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sister Scoble. Guys, I'm Johnny Scoble, and this was Chase Heat. Oh, you stick around here. We'll do some question and answer. She's going to split. She's making me dinner. But you guys stick around. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Johnny Skoll. This was Chase the Heat.